Okay, it's uh, Saturday morning, probably the same day that I'm going to post this video. Um, but I, I've got the truck in the shop, and kind of why I'm showing it to you is the intro to this video. But um, I just got back from Florida. I um, picked up and then dropped off a lathe for Adam Booth. Um, and I uh, got back... And um, this morning when I woke up, it was three degrees out with a little wind. The wind chill factor was uh, a little below minus 10 degrees. Um, but the, why I'm kind of showing this to you is I brought the truck in here because I, I picked up fuel um, down in Kentucky. And kind of... Uh, you, they, they use ethanol blends in their fuel um, down there. And um, I was having some problems last night. I, I got back uh, f from the uh, going down to Florida um, early Friday morning. Uh, but uh, last night it went down to, started going down into the low teens. <clears throat> and I was kind of having a little bit of an issue when I first started the truck up of, of uh, you can tell that there was moisture in the fuel. Um, and it was probably gelling up a little bit or having issues uh, firing. But um, so what I did is I brought the truck in here this morning and um, again, I had the first, uh, same issue with it when I first fired it up, but um, <clears throat> it kind of resolved itself, but I wanted to bring it in here, wanted to clean it up, first of all, and second of all, uh, get some um, uh, diesel fuel treatment in it, so that I, uh, because the fuel, probably the fuel down there isn't winterized as much, and also has ethanol in it, so I wanted to get some diesel fuel treatment in it, so that it could uh, get adapted back to, in to, the northeast climate of uh, being cold. We haven't gotten a lot of snow this year. Uh, we're supposed to get snow today. Um, I don't know, they're calling for between 10 inches and a foot, but you never know. Weathermen are predictably unpredictable and as their forecast. You ever want a, uh, a living, uh, making good money and never having to be right, become a weatherman. <clears throat> But anyways, just to lead into the video, I'm going to uh, touch on a couple of other topics that I had touched on in my last video of the <clears throat> what's this country coming to changes and uh, um, just some updates on that. You know, in the last shop update video, I had told you about going to Amsoil and um, getting oil for the Ram 3500 uh, synthetic oil and kind of about them telling me that they didn't know why Rotella couldn't get the additives because they get their additives for oil just fine um, and they had a lot of oil in stock so but um, here we are it's Monday morning actually and um, I told you that I kind of thought that I wouldn't get this in time to change the oil but I did get it. I had gotten a notification from UPS saying that it would be delivered this morning. Um, and sure enough, it was delivered. So I had put off changing the oil uh, with conventional oil to see if I did get it and be able to use this, and I did get it. Just a quick shot of those gallon jugs. <clears throat> so it takes uh, my truck, the. Um, Ram 3500 takes three gallons in the uh, six seven Cummins. Um, so I what I did is got two cases just so I could get uh, two oil changes uh, out of it. You know I had mentioned in the uh, introduction to this video that I had gone down to Florida and uh, taken a lathe down to Adam Booth. Okay, JJ, this is for you. A um, little shot of the lathe on the trailer and a little shot of the inside of a shop. Okay, whoever wanted the shot of Adam's lathe, here it is on the trailer. Um, they're about ready to crane it off, but here it is on the trailer. 
I'll take you in there and take you for a walkthrough of this shop, but you've probably seen it a million times. Hmm. I was just wondering, he had problems with a dark spot in this thing with these lights in here. Um, he had to reset his camera, but I don't know whether it's showing. I think it is showing up on mine. Yep, it is showing up on mine. Huh, isn't that strange? It's these lights. Why it doesn't do it with other ones, I have no idea. Let's just talk about a couple of things here. Uh, first of all, I kind of showed you clips of Adam's uh, lathe on his trailer in the inside of his shop. Um, he has already posted a video kind of about the preparation of the shop for receiving the lathe. And then uh, I'm sure in his shop update today, um, he will post the uh, uh, process of probably taking the uh, lathe off of the trailer and getting it into a shop. So I, I recommend, I highly recommend you go to Adam's uh, channel, ABOM79, um, and go to his channel and uh, check it out um, about the process of getting it off and everything else. But I just wanted to kind of touch on a couple of things. In my last shop update, I, I kind of touched on what is this country coming to. Well, here is another prime example of uh, of the kind of bullshit that we we are going through now. When I showed you his uh, the lathe on my trailer, um, there was a couple of guys. It was a crane operator and the oiler for the crane. Let's call him. We always called him an oiler. He's the guy that would uh, set up the rigging and stuff like that. But you've seen him doing some paperwork on my trailer. They have to, they probably went through a good hour of uh, preparation, but a lot of it included doing paperwork for the insurance company so that they wouldn't be held liable for anything. And, and actually, that paperwork doesn't even exclude them being held liable for anything. It is absolutely kind of BS what we have to go through nowadays for insurance companies um, under the pretense of, well, we're reducing your rates or we're keeping your rates the same without having to reduce them, but you've got to do all of this paperwork or jump through hoops about what you do and don't do um, so that for whatever reason, so that they can pretend that they're not going to raise your rates or keep the rate raised down, but it's absolutely BS. You know, it, it's ending up the insurance companies are dictating how you can work and can't work, and most of these people have absolutely no clue of what you're doing or how you do it to be able to pretend that you, um, uh, they, they can dictate how you do your job. But it's just kind of BS, but I just kind of wanted to throw that in there. Um, and then let me, uh, I'll bring in another segment and we'll talk about that oil again and some of the comments that I got on some things in my last video. But I just kind of want to throw that in there. Okay, let's get back to the oil. I um, and again, I I'm not being sponsored by these people. Uh, the only reason they're it's a good oil, um, and it's more expensive. Trust me, it's much more expensive than. Um, uh, other people's synthetic oil if you could get other people's synthetic oil so let me just say I'm gonna put a link into my other video up there um, you know, if you get a chance go back and check it out Brian and check out the comments Brian Block left a a, uh, a very good comment about uh, AMS oil I'm sorry not AMS oil about Rotella and me not being able to get Rotella and the problems that they're having not being able to get Rotella down there either. But um, I just wanted to kind of comment, 
and say that I had gone back into Napa to buy something else and uh, was talking to the guy about uh, b me being able to get uh, um, AMS oil, synthetic oil for my for my Ram 3500, and he was saying, "Yeah, I, I'm telling you, we can't get any synthetic oil in here. We're having problems getting like Delvin or, or Mobile One uh, because of the same same thing that they're saying that they can't get the additives to put into the synthetic oil. Where AMS oil is telling me that." They, you know, they've got a lot of oil in stock, and they're not having any problems getting the additives. So, you you don't know what is BS in this country anymore. I I don't know what it's coming to, but you know, here's people, and it wasn't only Napa; it was AutoZone and uh, some of the other ones told me that they can't get synthetic oil. Um, so. I, I don't know what's going on, but if you want to go back, check out Brian's uh, video, or I'm sorry, Brian's comment on my video about uh, the Rotella and uh, uh, them selling John Deere oil because they, a lot of people can't get Rotella. Okay, just one last thing before I go, and we're going to end this video. Um, I'm going to get Emma in here and uh, uh, we'll do another uh, toolbox tour. I know a lot of people like those toolbox tours and um, we'll get Emma in here to kind of uh, uh, lead the toolbox tour and uh, we can go through the boxes and, and show you what I've got, what I um, like and don't like and uh, since the last toolbox tour that we did. But anyways. Um, maybe the next video we'll get into a little bit more of what I see when my travels through the country and talking to people about uh, what they think is wrong with this country and uh, the administration and um, our government uh, lately. But anyways, uh, that's it for this video. Leave a comment, hit that like button, subscribe.